Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. In previous video, we saw how do we load the data from multiple SQL tables into Azure File Store, and also we saw how do we dynamically create the files in File Store with the table name, and create file share with the schema name, and have the data loaded from respective table, and um, we drew the pipeline dynamically with config table. That's what we did in previous video. Of course, I'm going to paste that video link in the description uh, below. Uh, if you can look into my screen, this was the config table which I created as part of my previous video. And this table has got uh, some details like uh, source table, okay, source schema, source columns, then uh, other details. I dynamically uh, loaded the data from all these source tables by uh, selecting dynamic columns for each uh, table respectively. So, uh, in this video, what I am going to do is, I am going to use same pipeline on the same uh, pipeline i'm going to implement custom logging so i want to log few details for audit purpose into sql table that is um, audit log table the details those i want to load here pipeline name into audit table and uh, source target and uh, the date when the pipeline is executed and the number of rows are you know read from each source table and number of routes are loaded into target table from each source and also throughput errors if any. So, just I want to understand uh, for each table load uh, what was the uh, throughput consumed and in case um, if you want to have a look and tune that query to uh, decrease the throughput of course, it will help me out if I have those uh, details handy. Okay, fine. Let us get started here. I am going to create one table uh, called audit log with required fields. The fields of course, it is um, completely based on your requirement what details you want to log. So, as of now, I am going to log these details pipeline name, source and target time when, I, when it is executed and then of course, number of records read, number of records are copied, then throughput, then errors. Oh, for that, what I am doing here, I am just creating one store procedure uh, USP audit underscore log. This is the store procedure I am going to create and uh, with required parameters. So, these parameters what I am creating here uh, to match to my table schema. So, id is not required because id I made it um, auto incremented with identity and rest of the columns I need to have the data inserted into this table right. For all those columns I created respective parameters here and finally, what I am going to do I am going to just um, get the data through those parameters and insert, insert into audit table that is what I am trying to do here. Pretty simple have a look into this store procedure. It is a very uh, simple store procedure. It has got some parameters. Through these parameters, it is trying to insert the records into the table. That is it. But now, we need to make sure our store procedure is getting the input values for each parameter in the pipeline. That I will show you how do we map and get the input values from the pipeline and have the uh, records inserted into uh, audit table. So, I am going to create it. Let me create the table first. Yep, table is created. I have already store procedure created, but uh, I am going to just alter it now, because these are the fields I need. Based on my requirement, I am just altering the store procedure. Yeah, of course, store procedure is created. Now, if I say select store from audit log, it has got nothing now, because we have not um, you know inserted any records. Now, uh, let us see how do we insert the, re the required uh, audit information into this audit log table. So, uh, let me take you guys into ADF. Uh, this was the pipeline which I built as part of um, previous video. Of course, this has got a uh, few activities here. Lookup activity which will you know uh, fetch the data from config table including uh, source table, schema name, source columns, then target layer everything. Okay. This for each activity will get the details from lookup activity and will pass on those details to the next activity which is placed inside activity. All right. So, we got copy data activity which will uh, finally, load the data for from each source table into target file. This is what our pipeline does, but we do not have any logging implemented here. I am going to implement custom logging here. I will be inserting the details into audit log table through stored procedure. As I am inserting the records through stored procedure, so we need stored procedure activity. So, let me just pull this activity into pipeline. The store procedure activity I am placing inside for each activity. Make sure you are placing that inside for each activity, because 
it has to get the details for each execution for each table it has to execute so then only we can have you know, data logged for each data load okay fine so i added store procedure activity here so let me just go ahead and complete the settings of course i can just name it as audit log fine go to settings the link service if I got already one, of course, I can just go ahead and use. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, I got already uh, link service created for that uh, SQL Server and respective database. If I go to edit, of course, yes, now the database name is DevAdivox, and uh, of course, this is the server. Fine. I no need to create again. I can go ahead and use existing link service. And uh, let me just select store pressure here the stored procedure name is USP audit log. Let me just select that and if you go all the way down here there is an option to import. Just click on that import option it will just import all the parameters those we created in the stored procedure. It has imported all the parameters. Now we need to pass the values to the parameters that is what we need to do that is it. It is very simple. So before going ahead and uh, do that what I am going to do I am going to just execute the pipeline once. Let us see, I will tell you why I executed pipeline before you know um, completing those settings. So, I wanted to make sure that you guys are completely clear from where you can get the details those we are gonna log into audit table. So, I think it is failed because of that store procedure activity that is ok. I expected that failure. If I go to output. So, our copy data activity is executed that is what I need I do not want uh, any other activities. So, if you go to output of that it has executed multiple times because we got uh, 4 source tables. So, it has executed 4 times that is ok. Take output from any one of copy data activity execution. Uh, for now, I am just copying and pasting that into notepad so that it will be more clear for you guys instead of um, getting details from here. Okay, now, so this is uh, JSON output from copy data activity. Now, the details those we need to log are we can get pipeline name from system variable that I am going to map straight away. Let me close it, go to store pressure activity go to settings ok let us skip this first parameter now ok let us go to pipeline name. So, this pipeline name I am going to get from the system variable called pipeline name that is it just go to dynamic content and click on this pipeline name just say finish execution date this also I am going to get from system variable uh, pipeline trigger time let me get that fine rows read and rows are copied. So, those details we can get from the JSON output from copy data activity. If you go all the way down there is a rows read let me copy this go back to our pipeline rows read click on dynamic content. If you go all the way down you could see the copy data activity here load data I renamed it as load data that is ok output dot paste that field name rows read finish in the same way rows copied go back to our notepad copy this field done in the same way I need throughput as well go to throughput ok. So, um, let me just do the same throughput finish and now errors. So, here I am going to get this field name done next source and target source and target I am going to read directly from for each activity. 
So, go to dynamic content, go all the way down. This is for each iterator. Click on get table, and here the field name that I need is source table. I am just copying this from config table. So, because you need to type it exactly how the name is. So, fine. In the same way, let me take target. Target is file. I am trying to load the data into file. It is under target file. Again, go to for each activity and then paste this field name. That is it. So, I am done with mapping. All the parameters are mapped and I am hoping those parameters will get the input values and uh, have those details inserted into audit table. I hope um, yeah, it will execute without any error. Let us see. Let me just go ahead and start our pipeline execution. I am going to trigger now. Say so, okay. All right, pipeline is executed now. Now let us have a look into audit table. All right, see all the required details are loaded into audit table. There you could see the pipeline name, source, each time different table our pipeline is uh, trying to load from product table, sales order details, product category, and, uh, and, and sales order header, and target files the product table data loaded into product.csv and uh, respectively data from each table loaded into different csv files and execution time number of records read from each table and number of records loaded from each table and throughput of course there are no any errors but so uh, likewise you can implement custom logging into your pipeline and have you know required details loaded into audit table all right i hope it is clear thanks for watching my video Please do subscribe for more videos from my side. We will meet again with a different concept. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.